Good afternoon everybody, it's Shafiq here. It is Monday the 19th of November and today is World International Men Day. It's a day specifically designed to focus your attention on all, all you lovely men out there. Um, well that's the idea anyway. Now as with everything it could potentially be lost in World International Love Your Pet Day, World International I Love Ice Cream Day, World International Grandparents Day, but this one for me has particular resonance and has a degree of importance, which is why I'm doing this blog. Now, we all know, I like to think we know, just, just go back and look at my posts about my story and why uh, highlighting the importance of uh, men and the support for men and the fact that we can struggle and that a lot of us do struggle is really, really prevalent in order for us to maintain harmony in relationships and working environment and so on and so forth. Because, you know, whether you're a co-worker, whether you're a husband, whether you're a brother, whether you're an uncle, whether you're a cousin, um, we all play our part as men. Now, I was listening to Chris Evans today and it was a really, really, really great um, interview he did with a guy from Australia. And he himself goes around publicly speaking about a particular point in his life which he struggled at. And he was saying that he would go to Shoreditch or somewhere like that and speak to all his uh, co-workers back in the day. And they would be, he'd be amazed at how people would be talking about the fact that they would say just in conversation over a, a high-end flatbread and you know a classy overpriced pint of lager, that they would talk openly about, did you know that so-and-so was anti on antidepressants? And did you know that so-and-so was taking medication? And it, it was quite all right. It was like it wasn't that taboo subject anymore, which was fantastic to hear because um, for me, when it when I came out of having my issues, it was like, how do I even approach this subject? Bearing in mind, eight years ago was my first um, attempt. And then obviously um, three years ago, and it's difficult for me even to, even to say that. You can see I get a bit funny when I say it, but it, it, it's, it is part of my journey and the reason why I'm here. So two attempts in about eight years. Um, and the fact that um, the whole antidepressants and suffering from depression, anxiety and stress is not frowned upon like it would have been um, many years ago. But he did say something that was really important. Um, would we be so uh, coy and candid, sorry, candid, not coy, about talking about having a low sperm count and the idea that we are struggling as men uh, to conceive children? Would we be as open? about it and he said that well no and he finds it very difficult to approach this subject with other men because I guess being able to conceive a child is all about virility is all about your success as a man as an individual so on and so forth and yes I'm, I'm fortunate I've had two children two amazing children one was 12 yesterday and I've got my seven-year-old almost seven-year-old being seven a week Friday and um, I've never looked at it as a sense of virility I've looked at it as, as a sense of me wanting to create love, love, wanting to create life and, and my love with my wife and so on and so forth. It, 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 it's an epitome, it, it's, a, it's a physical manifestation of how much I, I, I love my wife. We love each other most importantly. But this individual had tried for 10 years, 10 years to have children. He did all sorts of things, he, you know, the, the, obviously the ovulation, the times, the diaries, he did all the IVF, many rounds of IVF, um, seeing, seeing chiropractors, both of them seeing spiritualists, all this sort of stuff about how it would um, improve one's chances. And at one point he said that he even questioned God and he started questioning God. Now this is not about a belief, but he obviously has a belief in God. Now it can be Allah, it can be Buddha, it can be whoever you choose to, but he started questioning his belief in his higher um, guidance, shall we say, in God. Why, why, why? I'd be, a, I'd be a great father. You know, my, my wife would be a great mother. It's like, it's all we want to do. We, we, we can give so much to this child that you're not allowing us to have. And then he realized that God was not going to give him, when they decided that they could not go through this, this anymore, he decided that God did not give him the gift of a child, but he gave him the gift to speak about his tribulations. And that was really, really important. So for me, like I've always said, the, the breaking of me was when I had my breakdown, but it also made me in order to 
spread the word, to spread the word of how you overcome depression, how you overcome anxiety, how you overcome stress, how you live an abundant, fulfilling life, how you, how you live a life that is just totally focused on what you do have and not what you don't have. And I guess in that instance, when the individual was trying for his child, he was always focusing on what he didn't have. I just want a child, but you're not giving me. I just want a child, but you're not giving me. And then all of a sudden, he focused on what he did have. And that was the ability to share his story. And it's really powerful stuff. So even as a man, you might at times feel like you're not making headway. You're not, you're not reaching the, the mark, as it were. You know, you're not coming up to scratch. But you have so much more to offer when you just look at it from a different perspective. When you just look at it from a different perspective. And that's really important. And that's how I chose to, to steer my life at the age of 42 with, with you know, losing a 14-year career and all the security that offers you. How do I start forward? And then it was like something was telling me that you have a, a path to take. And the path I've taken now is what I've taken now. And it's an amazing, amazing way to live my life. So never lose sight that even though one door closes but another one will open, you know, always when the book is finished, there's always another page to turn, quite literally. That doesn't necessarily have to be finite. There is something else. There is something else. And that can be in your, your belief of yourself, uh, how you conduct yourself, how you conduct yourself around other people, how, and what you choose to hang on and say, this is the direction I want to go in. I hope that makes sense. So it's World International uh, Men's Day today. Please reach out to those that might be struggling. Please just, just, just give your husbands, give your boyfriends, give your brothers, give your, your cousins, give your nephews the accolade of, I'm really proud of you. I certainly will be selling to my little seven-year-old that I'm really proud of him tonight when he struggles with his, he won't struggle, that's self-limiting. When he, when he goes, I can't do my homework, as they all do. So I hope this, I hope this helps. And um, please, like I say, put this, put this um, blog out uh, to just on your pages, whatever it might be, or, or present it to other people who might be struggling because it's a really important day and it's, it's important not to get lost. So as I always say, please like, please share, please subscribe on my, on my media. Please go to shafiqempowermentcoaching.co.uk for any events that I'm holding, for any uh, seminar works or, or coaching that you might feel might benefit you or people that you know. But most important, you've got to believe to succeed. And if you're a man today, there is absolutely no shame. So put your head above the parapet and say, I need some help. And there's so much help out there for you. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you on the 14th of December. That's my next coming event. Um, calm before Christmas. It's going to be really passionate, really powerful, and some great insights into creating the best possible version of you in and over and after the Christmas period. Have a great day. Cheers. Bye-bye.